This is lecture 21 in the FLA series of lectures on fiber optics. In this lecture, we'll look at visual fault locators, what they are, how they work, and we'll show you an actual demonstration so you can see for yourself their usefulness in optical fiber testing and troubleshooting. There are two types of visual instruments used with fiber optics. A tracer, which is a low-powered device using a uh, typical LED or maybe even a flashlight bulb, is used with multi-mode cables to trace cables and check polarity. A higher-powered red laser, centered around 650 nanometers, is used for both single-mode and multi-mode fiber because it has enough power that you can both go longer distances than you can with a typical flashlight or LED. Plus, if there's a, a place in the fiber where there's a large source of light, like a break in a cable or a uh, bend in a cable that's causing high loss, you can actually see it with a visual fault locator. Visual fault locators are great for finding breaks in fibers or sources of high stress loss in fibers that cannot be found in other instruments, for example, an OTDR, which doesn't have the resolution. With the uh, visual fault locator, you can actually visually see the light that's being lost. So if you have a uh, break in a pigtail or in a uh, single fiber jacketed cable, if it's yellow usually, uh, or a fiber in a splice closure, you can see the actual loss location with a visual fault locator so you can more easily correct it. EFLs are also useful for optimizing mechanical splices and pre-polished splice connectors. You actually simply move the fibers around in the uh, splice or in the connector until the maximum amount of transmission exists, which you can usually determine by seeing the mount lost in the splice and minimizing that visual loss in splice. Some manufacturers of pre-polished splice connectors now put visual fault locators into their kits or integrate them into their instruments. Let's look at how a visual fault locator works. You can see from the spot in the background they were putting the bright red laser light through the optical fiber. You can see the signal coming out of the far end. You can actually see the way we can affect the modes by applying stress to the fiber. But what happens if we apply some real stress to the fiber? Well, look at that. You can see that as we stress the fiber, the light, which is lost due to the bending stress on the fiber, actually becomes visible through the yellow jacket of single mode, single fiber jumper. If I take the stress away, no light. If I add stress, you can see the light. And you can see where the light starts in the bend. It starts after the curve starts. The curve is where the bending stress is being applied. So let's do this with two hands. See that? Now, people always say optical fiber is made out of glass. It's fragile. Well, I don't think so. Let's just tie a knot in it. We can certainly see that it's causing stress on the fiber. And it's causing the fiber to lose quite a bit of its light. But, If we take the bend out, the light disappears, we're back to normal. There you go. And that's how visual fault locator actually works. More information on visual fault locators and other fiber optic test instruments, as well as a complete overview of fiber optic technology and many details is on the FOA online reference guide on our website. 
We're the Fiber Optic Association, the professional society of fiber optics.